The town of Tikwiti calls itself the shearing capital of the world. To signify this, a seven metre tall sculpture of a sheep shearer, weighing over seven tonnes, stands at the town's southern entrance. Tikawiti is located at the centre of a large sheep farming area that has produced a number of world shearing champions. Since 1987, Tikawiti has hosted the annual King Country Golden Shears competition, which attracts shearers from around New Zealand as well as from overseas. Nowadays, shearing is mainly done by machines, and New Zealand's champion shearers, among the fastest in the world, are hailed as athletes. Today's best shearers can shear more than 700 adult sheep a day, and can get the fleece off a sheep in less than 50 blows, which are single shearing cuts. In earlier days, blades were used to shear sheep. Shearing machines first appeared in New Zealand during the 1880s, though some sheep are still hand-shorn today. Shearers were paid on the number of sheep shorn rather than by the hour, so they had an incentive to increase their daily output. Gradually this output increased as machines improved and shearers perfected their techniques. Since the Second World War, other developments also improved shearing rates. Aerial top dressing of fertiliser improved hill pastures which led to healthier sheep that were easier to shear. The introduction of covered sheep yards meant that sheep were in better condition for shearing and crossbred sheep started to be shorn twice a year in the North Island, turning shearing from a summer activity into an almost year-round one. In the 1960s, contracting took over as the main way of organising shearing labour. A contractor may have 10 or more shearing gangs operating in different sheds on any given day. The gang is managed by the ganger, who provides a link between the farmer and contractor. A typical shearing gang has four or more shearers, depending on the number of shearing stands in the shed. Shearers are assisted by at least the same number of shed hands or wool handlers. The shed hands may have their own specialist tasks, such as pressing the wool, skirting the fleece, which is removing the lower quality wool, or keeping the shearing board clean after each sheep is shorn. Shearers traditionally wore a black singlet, thick trousers and moccasins cut from a wool bale. Today's shearers usually wear custom-made, stylish shearing pants and coloured singlets. Tikawiti celebrates its sheep farming heritage with an annual carnival day called the Great New Zealand Sheep Muster. The highlight is the running of the sheep when a flock is driven down the main street towards an arched ramp. Each sheep bears a number, and the first to run up the ramp wins $1,000 for the school assigned to that number. Shearers even have their own slang, so whether you're a gunner or a drum, a gummy or a cobbler, take off your Jackie House straight after knockoff, put on some glad rags and find your way to Tikwiti. The town's other claims to fame include being home to New Zealand's only native mammal, the bat, and the Mohoi Nui giant wetter, one of the world's most endangered species. Both the bat and the giant wetter are celebrated in Tikwiti with sculptures. Tikwiti also produced Colin Meads, one of New Zealand's most famous rugby players, who captained the All Blacks in the 60s. His deeds on the field, including continuing to play with a broken arm during a test in South Africa, are legendary.